Good morning from uh, Somerset, PA. Yep. We're on our way to Washington, D.C. <laughs> Big weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend. We got uh, all the vets that are going down there. Big motorcycle rally. Mm -hmm. um, it's supposed to pour the entire time. Mm. Fingers crossed it doesn't. We'll it's it's going to be really cold. Way too cold for our sweet DeSantis tank tops. I know, right? Make America Florida. Let's go. We <laughs> bought awesome tank tops and now we got to wear sweatshirts over them. <laughs> Well, we made it to DC. Finally. <laughs> Checked into our, what seems to be a really nice hotel room here at yeah. the Holiday Inn National Mall in Capitol. Ooh, this feels nice. <laughs> Ooh, it does really feel really nice. <laughs> what kind of view do we have? Oh, we got a view of their courtyard. All right. That's nice okay. and relaxing. Okay. As you can see, the weather is perfect out here in DC. It's oh. it's freaking mint. <laughs> mint. <laughs> Update. <laughs> they, we didn't even know we had a corner room. Apparently, we, we have a corner suite. <laughs> For some reason, I just noticed that there were curtains on the wall over here. I'm like, what? Oh, are there curtains over here? Oh, there's light coming through. We got a corner room. I mean, granted, we're not looking at any like uh, whatever buildings. I think uh, Board of Education or um, the uh, the F the FCC or the FAA or. One of those buildings is right next to us, but uh, I mean, maybe I can go and thank them for all the cheap airfare that I've gotten over the last couple of years. <laughs> FEMA, my friends in Iowa want to know where their money is. <laughs> Dude, spiral out with moon phases at the Smithsonian. Well, we're not going to be able to get into any of these museums because this trip was completely last minute. I think what did we when did we uh, book this trip, Shell? Like two weeks ago? Oh, not even. So I, yeah, mean, maybe a couple of weeks ago. I'm, it was a last minute thing. Yeah, and then and then we realized we need reservations for like everything out here. Everything. everything. Even the zoo. We were able to get a reservation for dinner at this place across the street from the White House for dinner tomorrow. Yep. So That'll that's what, that we got that to look forward to Swanky. at least tonight. <laughs> Swanky. We do not have clothes for that. <laughs> no. But we're going no, anyways. No, we're good. <laughs> Well, I think this is about as far as we're going to get to, or as close as we're going to get Everything to up Capitol there is building, closed, so. so... Yeah, there's no getting into anything for us today, <laughs> but uh, here it is. Not a bad view. Not a bad first stop. Not a bad, not a bad <laughs> view. I didn't know there was a pond here. <laughs> well, we've come to the conclusion that the National Mall is much like Vegas. You're looking at the strip and you're like, oh, that casino's like right there. We'll just walk. It's gonna be cool, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's uh -huh. not just right there. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's... I mean, it looks like it would be that close. I know. It looks like it would be that it close. It does but... look like it's close, but it is not. It is no. not. <laughs> also, it's freezing out here right now. It's like 48 degrees. It's raining. It's raining. My hair is all frizzy, um, I'm sure. Yeah, and I have no idea where people go to the bathroom out here. Like, when this place is jamming, where the hell are all the bathrooms at? All right, these are questions I need answered. We'll, we'll check back in. It looks way different in person. They make it look so, like, clean and uniform and not chipped up in the movies. Uh-huh. Nah, it's chipped up. <laughs> it's serious need of renovations, man. They've been working on it for years and years. It just reopened. They just took the scaffolding off of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Also, when we were at like the Capitol building, I noticed like all the concrete surrounding the little ponds in the front is just crumbling. I'm like, so this is what people see when they come to our nation's capital. <laughs> all right, rock on America. So we're at the World War II monument where I think this is fairly new, but I think it's pretty cool because each pillar represents a different state and a different district for all the soldiers who died in World War II representing that state. And we will walk around and find Ohio. How about that, Bri? bad I want to jump in here <laughs> it's about it's about three inches deep so I think that uh, Forrest Gump was a lie 
There's yeah, no man. way she was trudging knee deep. That's like three <laughs> inches. Maybe she was short. <laughs> So Shelly's pretty confident this is the spot where Jenny was standing. Pretty sure, pretty close to it. And I mean, it's, it's pretty fitting since there's a protest going on. <laughs> that scene is so not believable anymore. <laughs> it's so not believable. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty fitting that there's a protest going yeah. on. So it's a bunch of angry Palestinians. They're pissed off at uh, America, giving money to Israel, which I think just cut them all, cut everybody off. Stop giving money to people. America first. Well, that's about as close as we're gonna get to the White House. Yeah, Damn you got shame. everything blocked. Damn off. shame. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and in true DC fashion, we have more protests. We had to. We had to. What does it look like? Ooh, not a bad looking pie right there, Shell. Yeah. Not a bad looking pie. What's your little slice look like? A little spinach artichoke action? Spinach artichoke action, let's go. This place is called We The Pizza. Yeah. All right. And when you're in DC and there's a pizza place called We The Pizza, you gotta order from You gotta it. eat it. So look, I'm gonna take this bubble, this little bubble guy right here. Oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, losing some action. Little flop. Uh-oh, losing action. Can I get it? Can I? Nah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this. Here, Shell, help me out. I got a two hand, this guy. One bite, everybody knows the rules. It's a seven two. It's pretty fucking good, but it's a seven two. It's not in the right home bot, but we the pizza and we will eat. <laughs> Nums. Good morning from uh, gloomy DC, Southwest DC to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what are we doing today, Shell? Why are uh, we here? We are here. We're watching a parade. It's a motorcycle rally. It used to be put on by Rolling Thunder for years and years. It started back in the 90s and it was every year. Now it's ran by AmVets. And um, there's, we're about to see a million motorcycles, let's go. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, DC is shut down. I mean, they got this place barricaded off for this bike rally. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Now, it's, I mean, it's a very important rally only because it's for um, vets, it's for, since it is Memorial Day weekend, and it's to raise awareness for POWs. Yeah, in prisoner of war is missing in action. Yeah. And obviously, they always honored the killed in action. Right, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Memorial Day weekend in D.C. Yep. This place, is, this place looks like a ghost town right now. It really does. There's barricades <laughs> everywhere. You're not driving anywhere, but we can walk wherever we want. I feel like I'm in a <laughs> zombie apocalypse or something. Like, something big is about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something big is about to happen. You'll see. All right, we stumbled upon the Smithsonian Sculpture Garden. There's some bird shit. What is this supposed to be? It's nothing. This it's is nothing. stupid. It's nothing, this is, I don't understand. This is the dumbest goddamn piece of art I've ever seen in my life. It's art, you just don't understand art. I'm letting you all know right now, we're in the wrong profession. <laughs> we all are in the wrong profession. You need to be taking pictures at weddings and making dumb metal art, because apparently that's what pays the bills. Well, we are back at the Washington Monument. It's a little uh, less traffic today. Yes. Yesterday there was like massive amounts of tour groups up yes, here. Yes, there were. And we were not fighting through the crowd. But... <laughs> Wow. It's pretty big. <laughs> it is. 
I like the flags that go around it. Yeah. Yep. I wish we can go up it. Maybe next year. Maybe. <laughs> Got a nice view of the Capitol over there. Yeah, in the Lincoln Memorial. Now, one year ago today, we were in, uh, was it Vandeville? Yeah. Vandeville? I think it's Vandeville. It's the old state capital of Illinois. Mm hmm Place where Lincoln sat in office for a long time. So yep. that's the land of Lincoln over there. Yep. So, so one year ago today, we did a bunch of Lincoln stuff. So yep. we're going to have to go see Lincoln today. I don't see any uh, Palestinian protesters down there no, today. So well, it looks like a good day to go. I think we're good. <laughs> Well, we did have the full reflection before the people stood directly in the center of it. Yeah. <laughs> Merp. Here, here, a little bit. Oh, 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 there little tweak. Go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Sweet. Now, this is much better when there are protests going on. <laughs> yeah, it's much easier to get started. Much easier. We couldn't even walk up here yesterday. It was so thick. Looks good. Thanks. No problem. who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Today, 50,000 bikers from all across the United States rode together around the U.S. Capitol and the National Mall. Their mission, to raise awareness for prisoners of war and demand action for service members who are missing in action and still unaccounted for. Reporter Nick Minock was in D.C. where bikers are rolling to remember. We must not ever forget our brothers and sisters that did not return. And proud. We cannot forget them. These veterans are writing to remember American soldiers who were buried, missing, imprisoned, and tortured during war. They must always let this nation know 
the sacrifices them and their family have made and must always remember that. This ride has become a family affair for some over the past 30 years. It is heartwarming. Without their sacrifice, we wouldn't be here. With 22 veterans taking their lives each day, these bikers want vets to know they aren't alone. Many people here have struggled or are struggling with mental health, but we all care. That's why we're coming together today. Some people talk about change. We've lost respect in this nation. Being a patriot is, has started to become the counterculture. I think we need to change that. These bikers are determined to be the change. It felt pretty good to honor the men and women who've paid that price. 350 families. Anthony Price has logged 85,000 miles on his bike to meet with Gold Star families in 48 states. It just gets me out of bed in the morning knowing that I'm going to find somebody who suffered an incredible loss so that we could all be free, right? Fallen heroes. Uh, I'm going to go find somebody in that family and I'm going to make their day better because they went through the most horrific thing you can go through so that we can all have the freedoms that we have. Veterans. America's great. Who have never stopped serving by calling attention to service members who were never told, welcome home. And I'm very grateful for this nation. In Washington, D.C., Nick Minot, 7 News. And volunteers with the Memorial Day Flowers Foundation placed 50,000 flowers at the graves of our fallen troops in Arlington National Cemetery. Most of those flowers were donated by shops across the country. And volunteers will be back out at the cemetery tomorrow to deliver bags of flowers to families coming in to visit the grave sites of their loved ones. And in honor of the weekend and the upcoming holiday, the 32nd annual National Memorial Day concert aired tonight. The event featured performances from legendary singers Gladys Knight and Alan Jackson, as well as a tribute to the American nurses who served in Vietnam and a remembrance Where? for the 20th anniversary of September 11th. Since that dark day in our nation's history, our men and women in uniform have fought tirelessly to defeat terrorists for almost two consecutive decades. Since 9-11, 5,475 of our sons and daughters who wear the cloth of our nation have given the last full measure of devotion to ensure that this republic for which we stand remains unbreakable. Well, tomorrow there will be several Memorial Day 